Welcome to the Backseat Gamers. I'm Corey, and today we're going to be finishing up Fatal Frame. And yeah, this should be a, a pretty short episode, actually, so... Yay, more complicated locks that don't need to be complicated. So yeah. So this is actually post-commentary, because this episode did not want to actually record for me well, with me doing live commentary. It was horrible. So yay for fucking technical glitches. Looked up? Yeah. Yay. But anyway, this house is a lot of freaking peepholes. I mean, my god. Whoever built it must have been a pervert. That's terrifying. I don't know what this ghost is supposed to be, but it's so goddamn easy. It's like, even the first time we fought it, it was just one hit. You'd think you'd see more of them. Now, there is one thing that I noticed when playing this, and that's um, all of the books that you find. I figured they'd be in the game somewhere, like normal, but apparently once you pick them up when you're playing New Game Plus, it doesn't matter. They're gone. So that's good to know for the next time I do this. Look, another people. If Miku will look through it. There she goes. Miku, why do you... You should have learned the first time not to look through those. <laughs> I kind of wish you'd like, I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> but she's um, got a vendetta against finding her brother. Vendetta? No. She needs a mask for that. But she has a mission to find her brother. She don't give a fuck. If he's in that room, she look through every people in the house. Although, she's got really big balls to be walking up on the fucking rotted planks and shit up there. Although, she's probably like, maybe 80 pounds. <laughs> so, I guess she could walk up there and my fat ass would probably just break the whole thing. I'd break the beams, fall down, hit the ground hard enough to break that and fall down to the caves down the bottom. And it's like, I'm here! <laughs> I, I, I think. I don't know what happened. It's all just a big blur. Although, we've only died once this entire playthrough. You, know, you see the ball roll through, but who's playing with it? Curie's kind of chained up. Unless she was trying to work on her jump shot, but I don't see that happening. Especially when it's the only ball there. Hey, mirror stone. Or piece.
Fuyu is a time traveler. But, yeah. See, they put some of the books there. I don't know whether I missed them on my first playthrough or not, but I think, like, the very important ones like that stay. Because we got the notebook from the, um, one dude, the editor, and all that. Well, why don't you stop yourself? Selfie time. Fascinating. Yo, I like literal parts like this where you cannot get caught by Kyrie. I'm glad they did a lot more of them in the second one. Because they add so much tension. Because one hit and you're fucked. <laughs> and here I am basically being an idiot getting caught on all the fucking corners. Yay, corners! They fuck with me. And apparently they grab Miku. So yeah, once you're through this door, yeah. You're safe. I basically stayed at the door waiting for her to come through. But nope. Good thing she's slow. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just running around gathering, gathering a couple of these weird, you know, special ghosts. From the people who made the game. They're neat. I think they're only in this night. I don't know if you can find some that are before the final night. I don't know. I think there's also more, but eh, I don't want to go through the house. But this game is really short if you don't have to collect all the books just so you can do the puzzles. My god. Like, I didn't realize this game only took maybe four or five hours. And you could probably do it quicker than that if you, like, really know what you're doing. It's been a while since I played this, so... Yeah. Yes, Miku, going down the ladder again. Same cutscene. We've seen it before. But yay, the items I missed. I think they would have respawned if I had not got them. Or if I had got them, anyway. But they're useless because we're not going to need them because it's the final stretch of the game. Oh boy. Again, a hairpin opens up a fucking stone wall. How is that possible? What kind of fucking sorcerer is this shit? All I want is a goddamn key that goes into a goddamn lock. Where's the logic? It's like, nope. Fucking pressure plate on the side of the house that opens up a gate in Mars that teleports demons through. Good for you. Ugh. I hate the next part coming up. This right here. This stupid fucking bridge has killed me a lot. Did I say bridge? I mean these two assholes. Because, my god. One of them always tries to get behind me. When that happens, they both just, you know, clusterfuck me. And it's bad. Luckily, I killed one of them before the other got behind me. Which, thank fucking god. In one of the playthroughs, which, you know, didn't record because, you know, my fucking shit decided it wanted to break on me. Or it wanted to corrupt, or whatever the fuck it wanted to do. They basically killed me. Instantly. 
they had some cheap ass attack that they got right on top of me. One would hit me, then the other would hit me. So fucking bullshit. But yeah, it's all good now. They're dead. That, yeah, there it is. It's like I know there was a photo I got here, but where? Man at the bottom. And I failed and pressed the button again. Yay! The control scheme for this game and the second one and the third one are different. Oh boy. Look! We got something on the thing! Another shrine maiden who didn't fuck up. Well, hi there. <laughs> I don't know, this ghost is just so pathetic. Teleports behind you and then telegraphs its attack way in advance. Although I guess they're not going to give you something super hard that would kick your ass. Because you got a boss coming up. It's just because that ghost is so slow for this part in the game. For this, you know, so far in the game. What's this, shiny? No, we cannot have it because we already have one. Yay! But, yeah. Come on, Miku. We're almost done with this. You can do it. Just grab the shinies and run. Ain't nothing gonna touch you. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with your goddamn stride. Even this bitch. Who... She's like a doggy. <laughs> She's like, I'm coming. Throw the ball. Ball. Throw ball. Where's the ball? Throw ball. Throw the ball, goddammit. And then you take a photo. <sighs> Again, not very threatening. Startling the first time you play, but not threatening. Although, oh god, what episode was it that I actually switched my film to the 30-something? It was like, it was fairly early, but that film basically lasted us the whole game. Which is pretty great, actually.
So I guess that's why Kingdom Hearts isn't supposed to be open. Good to know. Very good to know. Good thing Sora closed it. Yay! Final boss fight! <clears throat> Which is not too difficult if you know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know, this boss just feels... meh. It's not hard. It's just... It doesn't even take much time either. It's just, look at it. You know, watch out for the earthquakes, that ruins your aim. And, you know... Hit it when you got full charge. That's it. That's the whole fight right here. It's just... Yeah. The other games did the uh, boss better. Much better. But I guess, you know, for being the first game of the series, they, they're just messing with stuff. Seeing what worked. Ah, there's that earthquake. Fuck me up. Ugh. The earthquake's random, by the way. Because uh, in one of the playthroughs, I got none. Which was kind of odd. Because normally I get like 500 at the exact same time. And Miku's camera decides it wants to fly everywhere. Yeah. Yep. She's not very fast either. <laughs> Might as well use one of those. Yeah, she does teleport, though. Shut up, you stupid gate.
My duty is to keep this gate closed. Kirei was guiding me, I could hear her screaming. Screaming for help. As the rope shrine maiden, she was destined to seal the gate. Yet she also wanted to be with the one she loved. But she couldn't have both, and was being torn apart by those two feelings, which resulted in the calamity. Her spirit was touched by the malice, and she became a creature that wanted to make others suffer as she had. Now free of the malice, she is about to fulfill her duty as the Rope Shrine Maiden. Her soul must remain here, keeping this gate sealed off for all eternity. All alone. Endless pain. As long as she is free of pain, as long as she is not left hopeless, I wish to be by her side. Miku. Mafuyu. Their souls are all going back to where they belong. Miku. I now realize why I was brought here. And I will accept this destiny of mine. Miku. Thank you for everything. Ever since that day, I stopped seeing things that other people don't see. Well, that'll do it for this episode. And it pretty much ends the whole you know, fatal frame, the very first one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video that I make. See ya!